evening, Pat and Mike. I see you got a big friend there, and he looks like he's in kind of poor shape. How are you going to go about uh, refurbishing uh, this mount? Hi, Al. Yeah, it's true. This guy has been in uh, pretty bad shape. He uh, was in a fire at Denny Dennis' Sporting Goods. The first thing we're going to do is uh, to assess the damage on this mount to see how critically he has been burned and whether or not we can restore him. What we're going to use is the Seabright Trophy Cleaning Kit. We're going to use the products from here to, first of all, remove the the soot, the uh, smell, and uh, the singed hair as well. As you can see, the hair is very badly singed. You can look at the mount, uh, the mouth of this uh, mount, and you can see how the discolored, even the teeth have been uh, melted by the heat. I would estimate the heat on this probably at that to be 500 to 600 degrees in the uh, in the fire. Um, Basically what we're going to try to do is to remove all the smoke, the soot, the uh, singed hair, and also the, uh, the smell. This product will actually get rid of the smell. The uh, conditioner and the product, after we're all finished cleaning them to our uh, criteria, then we will use the conditioner to bring the hair back to life, to add a little bit of elasticity to the dried out hair, and also uh, condition it so it looks nice. We'll, uh, we'll start uh, this uh, project here in a minute. It should take us probably a couple hours to complete this operation. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. Let's see you go to work. All right. The first step in uh, treating this damage is to mix the trophy cleaning product, which is a dry, a dry formula. You mix about a teaspoon of the powder into a quart of water. I recommend warm water because it activates the molecules and the chemical a little better. This is one quart to a teaspoon of, of the powder, the cleaner, which uh, we recommend for a, a mild this size. Alright, Pat, if you'll get up there and start at the top. Spray the cleaner. Okay. Well, as you can see, this bear is very badly damaged. Uh, pointing here at the teeth, the teeth set on these mounds is actually made out of uh, a plastic material. Uh, the heat was so intense that the teeth have actually begun to melt. Uh, as you can see, that the the, uh, the soot and the smoke has uh, penetrated the surface there. Uh, even beyond that, though, the the damage to the fur itself, to the eyes, etc., is pretty severe. We have a, a lot of singe on this mount, as you can tell. Uh, it was quite hot. I don't see any splits. That's a good. That's a good thing. I don't see any splits in the hide. I think we can restore this animal pretty much to uh, practically new condition. The hair will be a bit shorter, of course, but the Seabright uh, trophy cleaning products will get out all the soot, smell, and uh, even the uh, the uh, staining. It'll, it'll eliminate the uh, singed hair as well. Okay. To begin with, what we do is spray the Seabright formula on the, the mouth, the entire mouth, the hide, the hair, the, even the teeth, the entire mouth. This product can not do no harm. It's very environmentally safe. It won't hurt the mouth at all. What this does is begin chemically to break down the carbon that was laid down by the fire, and also it will remove the uh, singed hair. Are, are you going to have that liquid running on the on yeah, the mount? That's exactly right. And it won't damage it with Not the. At all. Oh, okay. Not at all. In fact, the chemistry will begin to lift the uh, the dirt and the soil from the hair follicles. Deep it'll bring down it up to the surface, and as it does, you can see that rag there is white. Uh, we'll show you there the. the uh, how it, how it actually lifts and gets the, uh, the soil right out of the hair. It penetrates deep down in the hair follicles and brings it to the surface. I can see already that the, uh, the soot and everything is beginning over here to drip right off of the bear. There's a little sample of, of some of the soil that's on there. Now this is just the beginning. As we apply the cleaner, it will leach the soil up to the surface and will continue to blot as it uh, progresses. 
So you're just blotting it, you're not actually... Well, we're rubbing with the... Uh, you're not brushing it as such. Well, I'm not brushing, but we're, well, what I'm doing is as it leaches up to the top, I'm, I'm blotting it off, wiping with the direction of the hair, of course. here in this uh, alley here on the, on the asphalt it's not going to dissolve the asphalt either when it runs off the bear oh yeah look, the product is environmentally safe it will not discolor or uh, stain anything in fact it's uh, if you use over grass or any plant I mean it, it is a very safe environmentally environmentally safe product uh, it doesn't bother us we don't need any special safety equipment no rubber gloves water soluble and breaks down and it's not, it's not uh, it can't be reactivated. Uh, when this product uh, uses its energy, it cannot be reactivated uh, by moisture or anything. Like oh, that. yeah, that's, I can see that's important. Yes. Feel like if it uh, got wet or something, this stuff wouldn't run into it. That's right. Uh, if you were using some kind of a soap on this thing, uh, uh, moisture and humidity can cause it to come up and to reactivate if you didn't rinse it properly. How long uh, this, does it, this product is totally uh, inert once it's uh, done its work? Uh, Mike, how long does it have to stay on there before it, it really penetrates? We recommend about 20 minutes, Al. In the case of this uh, burnt, though, this is this is a special case. These are very tough uh, situations. Uh, it might take us three or four applications, but we recommend about 20 minutes for the chemistry to really do its work. Also, the initial soot on the uh, surface is going to cause this right away. So. As we said before, the chemical gets down deep in the air and breaks down the, the uh, dirt and what have you, brings it to the surface. Uh, in this case, with the soot on top, we're cleaning the surface dust and dirt and soot at first right now. So we're going to keep getting uh, uh, more and more as we go. As, as my dad said, we're going to have two or three applications before we get it up completely out of the depths of the hair. Well, you have to use any type of a brush to get some of the, get down into the deep of the uh, It helps. The you can also take your fingers, as I'm doing here, and just brush back the hair to get it down in there to get it soaked down. What kind of brush would you use if you did? The ones we prefer are actually the uh, curry-type brushes for dogs and things like that with the wire uh, uh, fibers on them. And that, what that does is to uh, open that uh, fur up so you can get the penetration of the material right down to the to the skin. Okay. with that uh, forepaw there. It looks like it's pretty, got pretty singed hair. Uh, well, the uh, Seabright uh, cleaner has penetrated the, uh, the hair follicles. Now I'm going to show you how we remove the singed hair from the uh, from the hide. Uh, as I said, now the, the Seabright has already uh, softened this, so I'll, let me show you. We use the wire brush, brush with the direction of the hair.
So is the singe here actually coming off in the brush? Uh, yes, it is. The tips of it are. Uh huh. Uh, are, uh, is coming off. Yes, and uh, the uh, the hair itself is extremely dry because of the intense heat of the fire. So it's necessary to use the product, the cleaner on it, to to give it some suppleness, some softness. Particles flying in the air, but that's that is the singe hair. And you don't go deep with this brush at this point because you're just literally hitting the top. Knocking off the little curlies. I guess you could use the same product on those uh, those rugs, bear rugs, and leopard rugs and stuff people have. In any mounted, any taxidermied animal that there is, feathers, uh, fur, hair, deer heads, uh, all of it. Uh, it works on every every taxidermy mount that there is. Fish, it does excellent on fish. The application is slightly different, but. We'll go hey, into that later. Hey Pat, what's that behind you? Am I missing something back there? What's let me uh step back a little bit, Pat. I think I is that did you guys work on that animal down there? That deer or that moose is it? Moose we cleaned uh, yesterday and it went through the same procedures. It was uh not as bad singed hair on, on the moose's head on the forehead it was some, but not as bad as this bear. That's a that's a good looking trophy, Pat. I can see where the guy wants to have it uh, have it back and not lose it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a Canadian moose and uh, it costs quite a bit of money to not only go up for it to get the license, but the taxidermy itself is uh, very expensive. That's a once in a lifetime trophy of moose, moose of that size or a bear of this size. The real heartbreaker when fires damage these things. Uh, they're like photographs. Once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. You don't get two of those in a lifetime, probably. No, uh, that's true. We have before and after photos now, and, and that will show how black he was and uh, how extreme the case of cleaning it is that we brought it to this condition. Uh huh. Well, we'll, we'll look right forward to seeing those. Maybe we can put them in here someplace. How's that arm going up there, that, that bear arm? Very good. It's, uh, it'll take a bit, but uh, I think you can see already there's a Once again, this is a uh, worst case scenario, Al. Uh-huh. He's in bad shape with the fire and the damage that was done, but uh, there ain't nothing in our product that we can't do. we got to get just two uh, more and more applications. Well, how many applications you figure on an average you're going to have to do with this animal? This one's three or four. This might take three or four. But what we're getting at is uh, on a normal deer head that wasn't burned in a fire or animal, bear, or any mouth, like you said, a rug, bear rug, or a moose head that wasn't burned in a fire, one or two applications, depending on the... Uh, and when you say one or two applications, how many ounces will an application uh, use for amount this size now? For amount this size, possibly a quart, uh, about, uh, about a quart, we'll do this whole thing once. And we're talking pennies as far as expense. The, uh, the, the, con the cleaner is only about a teaspoon. Uh, the container contains four ounces, so uh, it, it will take probably maybe two ounces for an animal this size. Is oh, okay, ounces. so you, you just put an ounce in that container for a quart, so you're talking two ounces of your product. Well, probably not quite an ounce, about a half an ounce per quart. Uh-huh. Uh, will adequately do uh, about this size. Uh, if this bear had not been burned and we're just doing a normal clean, once over with uh, probably a half a quart would be all you would need. Talking pennies as far as uh, uh, cost. In extreme comparison. Very, very inexpensive. The preservative, um, you're going that won't be concentrated, so you're going to have to, uh, Go over it once or twice with that stuff. The uh, conditioner, I'm glad you brought that up, the hair on these animals especially is extremely dry and brittle. Uh, the conditioner will give some life back to it and 
also protect them. Denny Dennis sporting goods. Go ahead. Well, as you can see, we did an excellent job, I think, on this bear, far better than we thought we would be able to do in restoration. We got rid of most of the, the, uh, the uh, singed hair. We've been able to restore the color of the bear, got rid of all of the soot, the, even the smell. It smelled, things smelled beautiful, soft, and luxurious to the touch. We got the hair back. In fact, it's uh, uh, far blonder than, I, than we even expected it would be. When it was covered with a soot, it was hard to tell what color it actually was. But as you can see, it's really come out beautiful. It feels great, soft, natural. Uh, most of, if not almost all of the char is gone. Uh, we were able to restore the mouth pretty well. The teeth, of course, have uh, melted uh, in the fire. That'll take a little uh, extra care with, uh, we'll have to reshape those probably with a Dremel tool. But as far as the overall Cleaning and restoration, I think we've done far better than I expected we would be able to do. It's really a beautiful job. If you look at the face and uh, we'll compare that with the four pictures, uh, I'm very pleased, very proud. It's a very good job. The Seabright has uh, done its work well. This thing has restored almost to practically brand new. The owner was out here a few minutes ago. He's absolutely thrilled. this after uh, shots with the before shots of this thing it was completely blackened by the fire 
had a significant amount of uh, hair that was singed very badly. We've been able to restore the moose very well. These antlers were actually black. If you take a look at them, they're actually absolutely back to natural color. We've even got a little bit of sheen on them. They really look natural and nice. Again, this uh, this mount uh, restored far better than we thought it would when we first saw it. It was very badly damaged in the fire. But I think we saved this mount, and I think Seabright has done a wonderful job. The smoke, the smell, the soot, everything is gone. We've gotten rid of most of, if not all, of the uh, sear to hair. The conditioner, the sheen and shield, has done its job good. The hair feels good. It's soft, uh, natural feeling. The heat of the fire uh, really uh, seared the hair. It was very, very dry. But now it feels very good. It feels uh, natural to the touch. And the uh, sheet and shield will protect it now from any further drying. And it added some, uh, added a lot of uh, supplements back to it. She right does it again. <laughs> All right. All right. here was restored completely this this animal this mountain was almost totally lost we restored it we got rid of all of the char the smoke the smell the whole thing the animal is beautiful now it's been, been deodorized uh, we sprayed seabright on it and we washed it down uh, deodorized it and then we came back with sheen and shield and, and put a protective coat on it the, the animal the mouth the whole thing is absolutely beautiful again this animal was very seriously damaged uh, there was a big uh, section of uh, singed hair through there. We've been able to get rid of that. We stored almost a new, and if you look closely, you can see that the whiskers are even actually burned off. That's how bad it was. So I'm very happy with this. It smells wonderful. It's natural and soft to the touch, and it looks great again. Same with the coyote. The coyote was absolutely filthy. Uh, the the uh, soot was in the mouth. We were able to restore the entire mouth, uh, almost as good as new. It was just absolutely black and, uh, and here we have several of the uh, mounds damaged in the fire at the Denny Dennis Sporting Goods Store in South County. Fenton, um, Mike and Pat Seymour of Seabright Trophy Cleaning Products Company have uh, cleaned and restored these mounds. And as Mike said earlier, we have received rave reviews from Denny himself about how exceptional they have been cleaned. As well as onlookers walking by, people admiring many great accolades to uh, a job well done. These are the before evaluation shots to evaluate the damage of the mount before we get into the cleaning process. And as you 
as you can see there's quite a bit of char and soot all over the body of this grizzly which Now here Mike is doing step one of the procedure to clean the mount. He's mixed the chemicals, Seabright cleaner, in a warm water sprayer and he's applying the, uh, the cleaner all over the mount. You uh, spray the... Oh wow, look at it coming off the roof right here. soak here. I will let this sit for about 20 minutes and let the uh, chemistry do its work. It's already loosening all of the uh, filth and soot and stuff from the bear. It's starting to drip off. I think you can already see a color change happening, especially around the face, the mouth, the uh, I think the overall bear, you can really see a color change occurring. It's getting back to that natural color of the bear. Remember to do all parts of the uh, of the mount, uh, especially like the feet and underneath of the stomach and things like that. The ears, the eyes. Once again, in this case, this, this is an extreme. He's uh, being in the fire. He's got a lot of soot deep down in his hair. Your mounts and tropes, deer heads and what have you, full body mounts, etc., won't be as uh, bad off as he is because, you know, just everyday cigarette smoke and what have you in the air collecting on deer heads. Well, and two, this is fire restoration work. This is not normal cleaning. That's why we're so, what my point is, we're trying to, that's why we're soaking them so. Get deep down in and get it completely. We'll wait 20 minutes now and uh, let, the, let the chemical do its thing. it's important to get underneath the animal too because later that'll start to smell like the uh, burn smell from the fire so it's really important to get into all the in interior and underneath the spaces I'm noticing above daddy's already, you know. It's already, yeah, we're also already seeing a color change here in the face and on the back. I think it's vastly and greatly improved from what it was when we started. Uh, the face is already coming out blonde, that blonde drizzly look. Very nice, very pretty. Got rid of all of the char, all of the singe. 
the scent is gone. Mainly I'm concentrating on the uh, getting away places so we can get uh, make sure that there's no residual smell after he dries and he's put on display. As you can see, the bear is drying well and uh, looking very good. And we'll go into our finished uh, steps, finishing steps. Uh, like I said, as you can see, he's going. Now here we have the finished product. We're letting it air dry, and we will uh, roll it into the store as soon as we're done. Thank you. 